Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic and fabulous your way. That you are enjoying life and enjoying your hobby and your collecting of whatever it is that you enjoy collecting. Guys, I am here with more Barbies. Guys, I'm just so into and riding this Barbie thing. You know, it has been so much fun lately that I just cannot pass it up. I've been seeing promo pics of the new Fashionistas that will be released this year, and I am so excited about it. I mean, the Fashionista way just keeps getting better and better each release, and I am enjoying it, and I can't wait for those dolls to start showing up in our stores and start seeing reviews of those dolls on YouTube. But I'm here with a few Barbies that I have picked up. Um, I picked these up. Um, all of everything here came from Walmart except the ballerina. I picked her up from Amazon. You remember I told you guys that sometimes they have these warehouse deals where the packaging is damaged and you can get a discount. And I ended up getting that beautiful Barbie back there for $3.00. I mean, she typically sells for $4.97, $4.99, but they said the packaging was damaged, and her packaging didn't have any damaging on it, but a little pop right there where the seal was loose, that was nothing, you know. I don't care about damaged packaging if I'm not going to keep it in the packaging, and if I can get it for a good price. Now, if I buy it for regular price, and I buy it for a brand new price, then I'm not expecting a damaged um, packaging. I want new packaging so you know if you can get something knocked off of it then hey why not go for it but here's my mini me she's here ready to take pictures and ready to help me with this review so we're going to go ahead and get started i'm going to move her over here out of the way so that she can snap pictures and do what she does and be fabulous I'm going to save this beauty here for a review by herself. So for this review, we're going to open the ballerina, this budget, budget basic Barbie that I picked up from my local Walmart a few days ago. Um, I'm hoping that they get all of the... Um, dolls in this new in this collection my local walmart is not good with you know getting them all in you know they usually come up with you know different um skin tones and you know different um faces and my walmart never gets them i got the dark skin one that i love with that face mold and then of course this barbie is beautiful so let's start with her she's absolutely gorgeous um, they had like four left on the shelf. And, you know, Barbie, you get a lot of Barbies. You know, they got to do Barbie in every wave. But they really go over and beyond, in my opinion, with these basic Barbies when it comes to their faces and their makeup. I mean, each one of them was beautiful. Every one of them. No wonky eye, no flaws, no nothing. Every one of them were beautiful. But each one had a different little personality, and I ended up choosing her. But she's perfect. I mean, and these dolls are only $4.97. And a lot of people are not fond of them because, you know, they have the... What dolls were designed to be the basic five points of articulation, but I really like the budget budget Barbies, basic Barbies, whatever you want to call them. But I think she's absolutely gorgeous. And I am so excited about it. So let's go ahead and get her opened and check her out. But I love the um I love the pink um outfit, the little dresses that they're wearing. Um the little boxes, you know, the, I like the little pictures on the boxes, as you can see. You know, they, they're really doing a really good job. I like the little artwork, you know. Nothing about the bat, just telling you about the manufacturer and all of that. But here she is, and she's just flawless. Let's get this plastic elastic off of her hair that they got holding her hair back. And she's just flawless. She's absolutely gorgeous. But just check out that face. I mean, she's perfect, and her hair is perfect, and I mean, for a basic budget Barbie, and I mean, I have bought Barbies that were not, the faces were not this beautiful, and they were on dolls that cost a whole lot more than the budget Barbies, so this, um, 
this collection did a really good job. I mean, her hair has no product on it. It's really soft and silky, and it is definitely Barbie. I mean, look at those beautiful blue eyes, and then she's got the, you know, the light pink lip, and then I just love these little out these little dresses that these dolls are wearing this time. I really, really like them. I like it a lot. I like all the heart prints there on it, and hers is pink, and I can't remember what color the other one was. I did a review on the other girl. And I don't know where I put her, but I would like to have shown her, but I don't have her on hand. But this is what the dresses looks like. There's no Velcro on the dresses. You know, they just slide on and off. And um, that's really, really cute. They have, they're that stretchy material, so any of your Barbies could wear them. Curvy, regular body type, petite, tall, it doesn't matter. And then they paired them all back with these same white um platform sneakers with the heel cut out like a sandal and they're really really cute she's really adorable and i'm really glad they got her i'm just hoping that they get the others in as well and then here is the ballerina um i don't usually collect these dolls because you know you end up collecting so much and i don't have the space for it but i really like this new wave um I like this face mold. This is one of my favorite face molds. So I definitely had to get her. And when I saw that I could get her for three bucks. And the only damage to her box, guys, was this. Her little box was damaged right there. Nothing else was damaged. But this is what the packaging looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and open her up. So that we can take a look at her as well. I think she's quite adorable. Again, I love this face mold. And... I, like I said, I probably won't get the others in this wave because, you know, I don't have the room to collect all these dolls. But, you know, she's beautiful. She's absolutely gorgeous. I love the bun updo. I love it. The hair seems to be really soft. It doesn't seem to have any of that hard gel stuff they put on it for the style. I mean, she's just gorgeous. And she, her face seems to be pretty pr done pretty well. It doesn't look like there's any... um any factory defects that are so noticeable you know i mean you have to sit and stare sometimes to find it but here's how her arms are you know she has the basic um points of articulation her arms go out and you know they turn because she's a ballerina and these little dolls are very affordable i mean they're they're 4.99 4.97 and then she has to mold it on top, of course. And her little tutu is removable. As you can see, it's made out of that tooling. And you can remove it. So let's take it off and show you guys. All right, so you can remove it. And this is what it looks like without her tutu. And you know, her little legs go out a little. And they go up and back. You can pose her in so many different ways so many different ways and of course her legs are molded as well with this lavender color her shoes are also molded on and i mean she's really a cute little doll and like i said i don't normally buy these dolls but i just liked her because she is one of my top um face sculpts so i had to have her so that is the reason why she ended up in my collection so, guys, last but definitely not least is this fabulous boxer. Now, my local Walmart got a few of her in, and I kept watching and watching, and they got down to two. And when I decided to finally pick her up, they were all sold out. And I went in there two days ago, and they had restocked her, and I said I was not going to pass her up this time. So here she is, the boxer, and I really love the color palette that they gave her outfit, and I love that face um, sculpt on her. She kind of reminds me of the tall doll with the long braids that I ended up putting on a made-to-move body. Then here again, down here, we've got the picture. And I again, I like the artwork on these little boxes. Then here on the back, it just tells you a little bit about this boxer and what boxers are. And it says, when a girl plays with Barbie, she imagines everything she can become. Boxers strive to be the best they can be when they compete in a boxing ring. They train in gyms and hit punching bags to work on their forms. They wear boxing gloves and use techniques like jab, hook, and uppercut. 
boxers are very strong, agile, and quick on their feet. Do you love to move fast? You can be a boxer. So Barbie is at 200 plus careers. And then you got this picture here of the boxer. and She looks exactly like her stock photo. I like when the doll in the box looks like the stock photo. And then here on the bottom, you got all these others that you can check out. All the other careers that they've had. I have the soccer player. I don't have him, and I don't know if I picked him up on clearance one time. I cannot recall. But guys, the new tennis player, she is gorgeous. I am definitely going to pick her up. They had a lot of her. It's like people are not buying her, and I'm not sure why. And she looks like she might be of the tall body type. I'm not sure, but she is beautiful, and she will definitely be my next one that I pick up. So you got the... Um, a lifeguard, I guess you would say he is. Um, you got the nurse. I have him there. I got him on clearance. Then we got the pop singer. I've got her. And they have her too. And she's beautiful as well. And I have the shelf here. And this is the dentist. And I don't have him. And they do have him in my local Walmart. And I guess I'm not so quickly to get him. Because I have his face mold already on so many others there's a fashionista that came out with his face mold and then there's the fireman and i think the um the farm um release the what do you call it gosh right on the tip of my tongue i can't think of it but his face has been his mold has been used exactly the same so i might end up getting him if i find him on clearance but let's go ahead and debox this girl i am so excited guys i'm liking how they have went with these new boxes and the dolls are not pinned down in there with those pin ties i'm just loving it but here she is and i just like her she has such a unique look about her i like her hair up in the big puff ball i think it's a really cute um really cute style and i'm loving loving the color of her hair and I just like her look. I just love it. She's just gorgeous. She has a light brown eyes. And then this is what her box and attire looks like. This is the Barbie logo on the front. And then the top Velcros in the back for open and close. And then her boxing um, shorts. Um, I love these colors. The shimmer and shine to this color they don't have elastic you know they have i mean they have elastic they don't have velcro you have the barbie leg logo stamped there on the front and i just love it i love the design of this i think it's really really cute and then of course she's wearing boxing gloves that i'm sure are removable yep so the boxing gloves do come off and this is what they look like. Let me stand you there, girl. This is what the boxing gloves look like. They have that little slit there on the side. They have the Barbie logo stamped there on the front of it. And it's really cool. It looks like an actual boxing glove. It's really awesome. All right, so let's see if it goes back on as easy as it came off. All right, so let's see. We can get our hand back in there. Yep, it does. It goes back on as easy as it comes off. And then you see she has one bent arm and one straight arm. And then these are her shoes. And there's, I don't know what the correct term is for her for her um, athletic shoes. But there they are. They're pink as well. And they are removable as well. And you know, she has the basic five points of articulation. Head turns from side to side. Tilts a little bit. Sometimes these dolls' heads tilt more than others. Arms go out, forward, and back articulation at the hip and she's just an adorable doll and I definitely had to add her to my collection because you know it's like I said I had seen her and for some reason she was very popular among all the careers that my local Walmart has got in stock she's selling you know um like I said, the tennis player, she seems to be slow moving you know she's not doing as well as the boxer is the boxer i guess because she's new and she is very very unique you know we've had a tennis player before um we just had it in a different skin tone a different outfit but if as far as i know this is the first boxer and so i guess that's why the boxer is selling so well and plus she does have such a unique look about her her style is very unique guys i hope that you enjoyed this little um barbie haul barbie review 
I um, sure I did enjoy sharing it with you guys. And I do appreciate you stopping by my channel and, you know, always leaving such awesome, fabulous feedback. I really enjoy reading y'all's comments and I'm glad that you guys enjoy the videos. That's why I, I do them because I enjoy sharing what I find with you guys. And you guys seem to enjoy it just as much as I do. Guys, don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to check me out on instagram i'm ruby red's world of dolls there as well continue being awesome fantastic and fabulous and i will see you in my next review